Welcome to Philosophy A-Level. Philosophy is a subject that many of you won't have studied before. So this video is an attempt to try and explain, first of all, what philosophy is, uh, and then secondly, why you should study philosophy. Now, philosophy can be quite hard to define. Different philosophers define it in different ways. But a good starting point is that philosophy tries to answer the big questions that other subjects can't answer. You've probably thought about some of these questions already yourself. And by studying philosophy, you're going to learn what the great philosophers thought were the answers to these questions. And you'll also gain the skills required to answer these questions yourself. Universities and employers love philosophy students because they've been taught how to think for themselves in a clear, rational way. And students love philosophy because it gives them the chance to think deeply about some of the most important things. Philosophy, as we know, it started about two and a half thousand years ago, ancient Greece. This makes it the oldest academic discipline. The first people to try and figure out the world by thinking about it were called philosophers because philosopher means lover of wisdom. Uh, we studied the ancient Greek philosophers, but this isn't a history course. We also study philosophers that are working today. We study the issues that are going to shape the future of philosophy as well. So, for example, modern philosophers are working with neuroscientists to understand what the mind actually is. Ethicists are working with self-driving car designers to help them decide who to prioritize in the event of an accident. And philosophers are heavily involved in the future of artificial intelligence. We study all of these areas in the A-level. So philosophy started all of the other academic disciplines that you've already, uh, already studied. You could argue that all subjects are kind of branches of philosophy. They all came from philosophers trying to gain knowledge. And today, any questions that an individual subject can't answer, those questions get passed upwards until they get back to philosophy. So this is why there's a philosophy of every other academic subject. There's a philosophy of every other A-level you could possibly study. Uh, and those philosophy ofs try and answer the questions that the subject itself can't answer. Now, we cover loads of really important questions in A-level philosophy, including questions about knowledge and what we can know. We do questions about whether life has a purpose or not and what it means to be a human being. We question whether humans have any free will. In other words, if we have the ability to decide our own futures or not. And if we do have free will, how we should use it and how we should act. And we also look at questions about what the mind is and what consciousness uh, is and whether we can ever know the answer to those questions. Now, to give you an idea of the sort of things that we cover, I just want to look at one question for now and give you a bit of an insight into the sorts of things we'll be talking about. So that question for now is, what can I know? And that's a very important question. People have wondered about what knowledge is since at least ancient Greek times. Um, for that reason, we do go on a trip in philosophy to Athens and we visit some of the places where philosophy began. So this is a picture of us uh, near where a guy called Socrates used to wander around ancient Athens and Socrates' method of philosophy was to basically get in arguments with people in the street uh, and um, question them on the things that they thought they knew. One of the things Socrates is best known for realizing was that he didn't know anything. So he famously said, all I know is that I know nothing. Now clearly this is impossible. You can't know that you know nothing because that would be knowing something. This is kind of what counts for a joke in philosophy. But what he meant was really important. What he meant was when you think about it, all of our knowledge could be wrong. Um, our senses have tricked us before. We've all seen optical illusions. This right now, this video could be a dream. Uh, we don't know when we're dreaming that we're actually dreaming until we wake up. I could be a brain in a jar being fed information that makes me think the world is real, a bit like in the Matrix films. Uh, this is Elon Musk here, that picture. He's not a philosopher. He's head of uh, the Tesla organization. Uh, but he holds this view, so a modern version of this view. He thinks we might be part of a computer simulation being run on some future super intelligent computer. Um, the point is, we can't know. We can't know if this is true or not, and we can't be sure that reality exists. Now, if you can't be sure that reality exists, it seems like we can't know anything at all. Famous philosopher René Descartes saw that this was a real problem and had a brilliant solution. He realized that even if he was a brain in a jar, or even if we're characters in a simulation, he realized that he's still thinking. And if he's thinking, 
he must exist. This is known as the cogito, and it's one of the most famous parts of philosophy. He said, I think, therefore I am. And he thought this might be the only thing that we can be absolutely sure of. If I'm thinking, I must be existing in some way. Doesn't mean he necessarily had a body or uh, existed in a physical world, but there must be some sort of existence. We can't be sure of anything else other than that. Now, many people think that this is the only thing that humans can be absolutely sure of. However, because this is philosophy, it's even more complicated than that. Another ancient Greek, so Heraclitus, said, you can't step in the same river twice. Now, this is clearly true of rivers. Um, the second time you get in a river, the water has moved, and so the river has changed. But it's also true of everything else. We know from modern science this is true. Everything is constantly changing. Nothing is the same now as it was just a second ago. This river isn't this river anymore. This video is no longer this video. And if it's true of everything in the world, it's true of you. You aren't you anymore. I'm not me anymore. So I can't think and therefore be because I can't think or be. So maybe we're stuck. Um, and maybe own, the only thing we know is that we know nothing. Or maybe not. Maybe we can know things. Um, or maybe not. Maybe we don't exist. Nobody knows. But philosophy is the attempt to try and know these things. Now, this has been a really quick and potentially really confusing introduction. Um, but everything will become clearer when you start studying philosophy. And you don't just have to take my word for it. Um, students genuinely love studying philosophy at Fortis Smith. Uh, there's some quotes from uh, previous students here, um, and you can see various destinations that our students go on to study at. Every year we get great A-level results. Um, normally we're in the top 10% of uh, schools in the country in terms of our results. Um, and it does really give you a, a deep and broad understanding of yourself, the world around you, it teaches you how to think, it teaches you how to reason, teaches you how to argue. Um, if you want to find out more, please look at the philosophy section on the Fortis Mir website. Get in touch with me, my name is Mr. Aldridge. You can get in touch with me through the website as well uh, and let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in September. <laughs>